and the apostles were all gone. Nagtago na sila kung saan-saan because they are being persecuted. And even Peter himself, nanlumo siya. He, he was he was discouraged. As true as what uh, Jesus told him that, you know what, Peter? You will deny me after you hear three, the cock crows three times, you will deny me. And Peter said, no, Lord, I, I can't. I, I am loyal to you. Ayun yung sinasabi niya. But brothers and sisters, it was, he was, even after that, that incident, even Pete, Peter himself was so, kung parang, he was uh, discouraged about himself. Siguro, at that time, he was so, uh, said to himself, I'm, I'm nothing, I'm, I'm weak, I'm not the person I, I used to say I am. I am, I am, I am not true to my word. But you know what, brothers and sisters, in spite of that, if we, we know now that after that incident, Peter stood up and continued his purpose as one of the greatest or one of the leading disciples of Jesus Christ. And today we, we look to them as one of the, including Paul, as the greatest evangelizers of, in their time. So mga kapatid, in our own life, maybe we, we've been through something in our life, something that we did in the past that discouraged all of us from continuing in, in serving the Lord, but it hinders us. But brothers and sisters, the Bible is reminding us in verse 13, Forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. Press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in, in Jesus. So what is press on? Sabihin, what is press on, brothers and sisters? What, what do you think when you say press on? Amen. Thank you. May nakikinig pa ba? <laughs> yeah, yeah, brothers and sisters, we, we should keep on going. We should, kumbaga, kahit paakyat na yung nilalakad mo, if even is a, a mountain, you're climbing, you don't stop, you, you continue on, you climb, even you, if your legs are already hurting. So that's an encouragement for us, brothers and sisters, because even today, if you compare how the kind of persecution that some people may experience right now is not as much as the one experienced by the our the first Christians, yung mga disciples. Amen? Amen. Baliwala pa yung na-experience natin. Sometimes we may experience uh, persecution at work. Uh, in the public, you know, people can make persecute Christians parang ano lang, yung sad, suddenly, right? They can make uh, jokes related to him. I, even myself, I, I sometimes see that. There, it was, it looks like a joke, but it, it's like a way of mocking, mocking. Uh, Christianity. But brothers and sisters, the Bible is telling us to press on. And verse 15 said, All of us who are mature should take such a view of things. And if on some point you think differently, that too God will make clear to you. Only let us live up to what we have already attained. So brothers and sisters, we remember our life when bago tayo naging Christian. I myself, I, it's, I, I, I know that very well. I know how my life is 
before I, I, I come to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, I know how I, my relationship with my family, my parents, the way I talk, it was different. But because of the mercy and loving kindness of our Lord Jesus Christ, I, I, it taught me the right way and taught me the right things that I have to do as, as a Christian, brothers and sisters. And so we are all encouraged as brothers and sisters in Christ. As the Bible said, only let us live up to what we have already attained. So kung nakuha na natin yung salvation ng Panginoong Jesus, kailangan i-live up na natin. We live it up. That means you live the life of what you follow. Kung ano yung pinafollow natin si ang Panginoong Jesus. We try to live up to what the way He lived. Although we know na hindi natin, we are not able to attain that. But we try our best to live up to what Jesus Christ have, have told us. You know, sometimes there are things that we we don't know. That's why we we didn't realize we made a mistake. That's why we need to equip ourselves, immerse ourselves in the Bible so that we know the things that we need to improve. Amen? And the hardest thing, brothers and sisters, is when you know what is true and yet you don't do it. Diba? Your knowledge is useless if you, if you don't use it. Parang example niyan yung sample ko nun. One example is the a doctor. He knows a lot about our bodies and what is good and what is bad. But he is smoking. He knows that it is bad for him, but he is smoking. So what good is that knowledge if you don't use it to yourself? Your knowledge does not benefit yourself. Diba? So brothers and sisters, the message is we immerse ourselves in the Bible, we equip ourselves. Because as the Bible said, we are the equip, we equip the saints. Kasi yung, paniniwa, yung paniniwala natin, the, our belief was the saints are those, those uh, religious people, Christians who have already gone away. But the Bible is telling us the saints are the people who are believed, the believers who are still here that are called the saints. And brothers and sisters, what better witness do we have if we follow what God had told us than rather than just saying the verses that we know and telling other people about it? Once again, our personal life is our number, very first witness to others. Amen? If you are a Christian and you are work in a secular job, it is not so much about, although it may, it is not so much about what you say that will matter, but it is what you do. They are watching how you react, what you say. That's how they will see you as Christians, brothers and sisters. As we continue, the Bible said in verse 30, 17, Join with others in following my example, brothers, and take note of those who live according to the pattern we gave you. So brothers and sisters, it's very clear, right? Yeah. What is the pattern that the disciples gave us? So that is self-explanatory, di ba? Ano ba yung buhay nila nun? Paano ba sila makirelate sa ibang tao? How do they treat others? So the way 
what they do in the same way it should also be seen in us amen, amen. for as i have often told you before and now say again even with tears many live as enemies of the cross of christ amen, amen. that is the sad thing because some people say they are christians but because of what they do they become as the bible said many live as enemies of the cross of christ Kasi, brothers and sisters, it's so sad na nakakilala na tayo. And then suddenly, we just heard something that, you know, na you already know.